Hey guys, so in the last uh, few videos we have been talking about measuring length and measuring length is measuring how long something is. Um, we've been, we did that in inches, we did that in centimeters, and we even did it in non-standard uh, measurements using um, like cubes and paper clips to measure things. So now we're going to move on to what's called capacity. Capacity is measuring how much something can hold. So we're going to do non-standard measurements today. So we're just going to use this regular cup. Um, this cup, you know, it doesn't say what, 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 how much it will hold. So we're just going to say that the, the, the measurement of what this cup can hold, right? So if I fill up water, we're going to say that it's one cup right? So I fill it up with water. All right, one sec. There we go. I have a cup full of water, right? So we say the capacity of this cup is one because it's full. That one cup is full with water. So we're going to, this is our, our non-standard non -standard unit of measurement, one cup of water. Now, I'm going to bring another object in. Hey, here we have that. Do, what do you think? How much capacity can this hold? Can it hold one cup of this or more than that? What do you think? Just by looking at the two, are they about the same? Even though they're not the same object, but they both can hold water in it, right? So let's let's find out. Let's pour this water that we have in here in there and see if it's about the same. So it went all the way up here. I don't want to go all the way all the way to the top because when I if I move it then it'll spill. So we don't, just there. Now, so it went to about right there. So then that's all the water in this cup. It's empty now. So it took one of these cups. If I, and now it's not all the way full, but could I do another cup to make it full? Or would it be way too much? Yeah, probably way too much. So we're gonna say that this is about one cup of water. It can take, the capacity of this container is one cup of water. All right, so I'm gonna put this water back in there. And we're gonna bring out another container. All right, here's another container. All right, compare this to the one we just did. Do you think that this container can hold more water than this container? Meaning that this container has more capacity than this one. What do you think? Do you think the bigger the container, the more capacity? All right, let's find out. So we have our one cup of water right here. We're gonna pour it in. Okay, so the water level is about right there. So do you think I can put some more? Yeah? All right, let's go fill this up. All right, here we go. I'm gonna fill it up. All right, so it went to about right here. Now, do you think I can fill this up with water again and go for a third, a third cup? What do you think? This little bit, bit or I should stop? Yeah, I should probably stop. That's a lot of water. So this container had two cups where this one had one. So this one has more capacity than this container did. So this one had two cups, this one had one cup. All right, so I'm gonna take the water out of this one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put these two back there. We're gonna bring in another one. Wow. 
Okay. So looking at this one compared to those two over there, is this one bigger than those two? All right, what do you think? Yeah, looks like this one. So do you think this one's gonna have more capacity than the one we just did? Let's find out. Okay, I'm gonna move it a little closer so you can see, because it's so big. All right, so here we got one cup of water. Okay, so far it's right here. Where in the other one, when we filled it up with one cup, it went all the way to half. But this one's just a quarter. So, hmm, before I continue, how many cups of water do you think it would take to fill up this container? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe five? Four? I don't know, what do you think? Did you get that answer too? All right, let's try it. So we're already at one. Let's get another one. Okay, so it's right here. Get another one. All right. Three. Lots of spillage. And there's four. And, you know, we like to stop right there because if we go another, it'll spill over. And we don't want that to happen. I already have enough of my own spilling here. So, how many did it take? Do you remember? It was one, two, three, four. Four cups of water. So, was that more? cups of water in this one than the other two? Or was it less? It was more, that's correct. So this had four cups of water. So this container has more capacity than this container does. Wow, that's a lot. Now if you see this one over here, this one is even bigger. So this one's gonna have lots of capacity. Even, what about that? You see that container? Do you think this is gonna have lots of capacity? Yeah, probably. Wonder how many cups that would take. Could you imagine using this cup to fill up that container that would be a lot of cups right now hmm using our brain would I want to use this cup to fill up a container that big container or maybe I would want to use this big one fill this one up and put the water in there which one would probably be a better idea use a smaller container to fill a big container or use a big container to fill up a big container. So if you said use the bigger one to fill up a big one, then you'd be correct. Now, if I wanted to fill up this one, what would I use? Would I use this to fill up that or this to fill up that? Yeah, this would be a lot better to fill up for this cut container than that to fill up that because this can hold so much more water than this can. So we wanna make sure that we don't accidentally over pour. All right, so thanks for joining me for another great video and about learning capacity. All right, have a great day.